Welcome into the WIS First Alert Newsroom, where we are going to be covering some of the top stories that we are covering here at WIS. And we begin in Richland County, where the Richland County Sheriff's Department is asking for your help in searching and finding a missing child and her father. This is six-year-old Michelle Murph and her father, Jason Murph. The pair have not been heard from since Saturday night around 8 o'clock near Highway 301 in Calhoun County. Well, Jason Murph is six feet tall and weighs about 220 pounds. He drives a silver Toyota Tundra. Michelle's mother and Jason's wife believe they may have been involved in a car accident and need help. So you can reach out to the Richland County Sheriff's Department or Crime Stoppers if you know where they may be. That number, one triple eight crime SC. Oh, in the Low Country, a radar confirmed a tornado that touched down and caused massive damage in Horry County on Sunday. We want to show you a little bit of that video now. Wow, well, that tornado uh, came from a strong coastal storm that impacted the area. It was the first alert day here at WIS all across uh, the Midlands, including stations all across the Palmetto State. Now, damage was reported in areas of Horry County, such as Forest Brook and along roads, including River Oaks Drive. Damage also being reported along Ocean Boulevard and Myrtle Beach this morning as well. Well, back here in Richland County, a pair of female inmates at Alvin Eslin Detention Center have been charged and are back behind bars after attempting to escape the jail last week. Authorities say the two women uh, tried to use a trash can to climb through a hole in the ceiling. And reports show the two women here on your screen tried to steal a car after their escape and the two were caught before leaving the property, both now facing charges related to that escape, as well as tampering with a vehicle. Now, these are just some of the stories that we are following here, but of course, for the very latest, you can head to our website, wystv.com. And it is on this website where you can follow all of the stories that we are tracking throughout the day. You can also download our First Alert News app. It is free in your phone's app store. Well, I'm Jamal Goss, hoping you have a fantastic Monday, and we'll see you soon.